today is Friday I'm doing my second uh, delivery uh, my freight liner is still uh, it's still in the shop with those check engine lights and now I have to use this flashlight because it's the suns the sunrise it's like 7 40 7 45 in the morning and we started quarter to seven so you cannot see anything in the dark you know the paperwork and this one i like this one because they, they charge from a usb so i just hook them up like i have two of these so i hook them up in my car when I go from home to work and from work to home and they charge pretty fast like I charge this one it's very bright all you have to do is just push the button on the side and yesterday I figured out how to hook up my uh, fancy shocks uh, headset did a test call works very well so now I have it with me because I'm still waiting for a call from the car dealer I don't know what's taking them so long you know already tell me if you approve me or or don't approve me like we agreed on the price right with this Ford Explorer they said yeah we're gonna change the windshield we're gonna uh, touch up that uh, little scratch on the fender but I like this vehicle because it's you know 2022 full leather and it's only 25 25,000 kilometers 15,000 miles what is it 10,000 miles is 16 plus 8 yeah it's like 15 5,000 miles you know, in two years so basically but it's pretty dirty inside I don't know like some kind of farmers probably use it but sorry the guy says uh, the driver was the wife of an electrician they probably have kids because there's some stains but these guys say well don't worry about it we're gonna clean it up it didn't um, it'll be super clean but I mean I just kind of like dubious about this practice you know if I was in sales or if I was selling my vehicle I would never show a dirty vehicle with scratches and broken windshield to a potential customer that just not good sales not a good sales technique you know it's kind of like a house right when you're selling a house and you're trying to make people imagine oh don't worry about this broken furniture and uh, and uh, and uh, holes in the rock it, it'll it'll all be cleaned up you know before you moved in that does not work you know people yeah of course people have imagination but everybody wants to see a clean uh, clean and uh, well taken well taken care of piece of property or uh, you know a vehicle but anyway so I agreed because it's hard to find something decent with such low mileage and so I'm still waiting for their call so well I don't want to call them because they because I told them I'm not I'm not canceling the deal because if I cancel on my own I'm gonna lose that thousand dollars I gave them and so they said if they cannot approve me if they cannot get financing for me they will refund the money okay so so I'm okay waiting and so the first load I did was uh, so again I'm driving it uh, as my dispatch says truck and trailer and like I mentioned before I was a bit confused I said you mean tractor trailer tractor trailer he says no pickup truck and trailer oh okay and this one requires some you know real muscle work because the ramps uh, each ramp is probably I don't know feels like more than 50 pounds uh, well not 70 because 70 I cannot well actually I can't push with two hands for sure so yeah it feels like 70 80 pounds each ramp you know and you have you have to drop them and then you have to lift them and push them back up to the vertical position so it's a good workout so so today I did I already did what I drop them load the machine uh, push them back on then when I unload I drop them unload the machine push them back on that's four 
and now I did the same twice with uh, so the first machine was a zero turn scissor lift like one of those things tiny baby scissor lifts that you have a joystick and they turn on a dime and I called the guy because I'm sitting at this mall kind of like a strip mall with offices and stores you know and I called the guy I say uh, where do you want me to drop it he says oh you'll see a sign for a real estate company that's we opening a new office and the log box uh, code is and I wait wait so you want me to put it inside there's nobody there he says yeah we don't want to we don't want to leave it on the street you know and it was like eight o'clock and this all de that mall is all deserted I said okay what's the log box uh, number I'm always having trouble with these log boxes you know but kind of like what real estate agents use to hide the key in on you so you push a combination and then this thing opens that there's a key inside and so okay I managed to uh, get the key and then I opened the door uh, propped it with some heavy piece of concrete and I managed to bring the scissor lift in and then by the time I'm taking a picture I like doing that you know when there's nobody around I take a picture of the machine or load I delivered and I send and I text it to the customer and as soon as I text and I see there's a pickup truck pulling into the parking lot and it's this guy Indian guy that I was talking to on the phone and I said you want me to leave the uh, the door open he says yeah it's okay and so I left went back to the base back to the yard and I said next and it says uh, 19 by 30 scissor lift so I'm still with a trailer because again I don't have my freight liner so again I dropped the ramps loaded the machine push the ramps back up right so work out and 19 by 30 if somebody's not familiar with these scissor lifts they always have these two numbers it's from the factory so 19 is inches that's how wide the machine is and 30 is feet the second number shows how high the lift can can go and this one 19 by 30 is usually very popular because most a lot of people work indoors you know let's say they're renovating an office or something right so it has to be narrow enough to go through a regular door but 30 feet that's pretty high right that it can go but the next one we have I think it's like so 19 by 30 the next one is I think like 32 by 36 so 32 inches wide can go up to 36 feet and then the biggest one I think it's like 36 by 46 it means that it's uh, 36 inches wide but can go to 46 feet you know but and again all these scissor lifts that I'm talking about there they have slick slick kind of like uh, racing tires so they don't work well on dirt because each wheel has a sensor if they tilt it slightly it's gonna stop stop working so you only use these on uh, paved uh, surfaces but we do have scissor lifts for uh, for ground you know for they're called a rough terrain scissor lift. they're much bigger and they have uh, much better tires all right so now I'm just driving towards the uh, towards downtown and of course I missed my turn and now we're gonna deliver this scissor lift and then come back and today we're gonna have a huge load of scaffolding where they said I will need a helper because it's like a massive amount of frames five by five lots of decks lots of supporting uh, things you know all right so it's telling me I have to take this Yeah, I, I turned off the microphone and I, <laughs> I missed my turn but it's okay because this this particular delivery spot is between two two exits on the highway so it doesn't matter which one I go to I just came back from a massive scaffolding load delivery to a private
private residence you know one of those rich areas with lots of land near Cochrane basically west of us towards the mountains and there was so much scaffolding that we had to use uh, a five-ton Freightliner truck and a pickup truck with its with the own uh, trailer to give an example scaffolding like the frames five by five frames we had um, 24 24 frames and then there was like a bunch of decks and so we loaded half of the frames on the Freightliner and he took all the decks and I in a pickup truck took the rest of the frames and then all the smaller stuff like you know plate leveling legs um, safety rails there was a bunch of that stuff like uh, braces you know those things that secure scaffolding on the side I had uh, 36 braces 10 footers so anyway, it was a big load, but they gave us a helper, and so we drove uh, like half an hour towards the mountains. It was a super beautiful, peaceful area, and uh, basically somebody hired uh, a construction company to build a brand new house, and for now it's just a foundation. And I called the guy and said, we are coming with two trucks and one trailer. And he said, okay, just put everything on the ground in front of the house, in front of the foundation. Okay. But the Freightliner managed to back where they will eventually use that scaffolding, like the actual back of the building, or the will be building. But I unloaded mine on the side, so they were okay with that. And then we took a 30 minutes break, came back, and they asked me to uh, uh, drop the trailer. And so now I'm just heading down to Southwest to do uh, three pickups. Uh, one is a scaffolding, again, one is a 40 foot ladder, gotta love those. And last but not least, I'm going to pick up some parts at uh, one of our dealers in the same area. So it's two o'clock now, so I think by the time I come back, it's going to be already after four. So hopefully, be, this will be my last three runs of the day. And tomorrow, Saturday, I'm off. I'm so looking forward to it. To was it? To it. And I think I'll, I'll, I haven't done any Uber in a while, so maybe tomorrow I think I'll do maybe half a day of Uber. But the plans for tonight are uh, start uh, practicing with the accordion. So yesterday I just uh, refreshed my memory and I leafed uh, through that uh, book, book one of. Um, my uh, teach yourself accordion guide just went through I repeated you know refresh some you know music theory over there so I think now I'm already adjusted the belt so now I'm ready and then yeah I'm, I'm learning how to use that flash that uh, camera flash I bought because that one is really uh, useful for photography in uh, in semi-dark or dark environment. 